Hi guys, welcome back to Wentworth Life. So in today's video, we have a special treat. My friend Liam has sent me over his virtual meet and greet with Kate Jenkinson, who plays Ali Novak. And he has asked me if I could upload it to the channel, which of course I am more than happy to do. It's a really great interview with lots of gossip about the upcoming final season, so I hope you all enjoy it. All I ask is if everyone could please be very kind in the comments box below. And if you are interested in buying a Wentworth meet and greet with upcoming cast members, then please visit wentworthcon.com. And if you have Facebook, all you need to do is search for Wentworth Con. Okay, so Liam, take it away. Thanks, Enjoy, Anna. Hey, Liam, how are you going? Hey, fine, yeah. Oh, good. Um, you, you're about, I think that you and I struggle with the same technical challenges. I am so shocking when it comes to everything computers. I'm always like, yeah, I mean, I'm always the one that doesn't know what's going on. So what's going on for you, Liam? What's happening? Nothing, just sort of taking day by day, really. It's kind of all you can do at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, just sort of trying to sort of get going every day, really. Yeah. So whereabouts in the UK are you? Uh, I'm in the West Midlands. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think... Yeah. Uh, it's been so long since I drove around England. I kind of, so that's north of, that's north of London, right? Yeah, not far from London. Okay. And what do you do? I don't work, unfortunately, no. If you could work, what would you do? Um, I don't know. Just maybe work in like a gym or something. Yeah. So fitness is kind of, it is important to you? Yeah. I don't really exercise, but you know. <laughs> well, maybe if you worked at a gym, you could you could start that journey. Maybe, yeah. So, is it is is finding work a challenge at the moment because of COVID? Is that part of the reason why? No, not really. I've just got things that are wrong with me in a way, really, that are sort of stuck in me. From... Yeah. So, employment can be a challenge for you. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You, well, you know, at least you've got company at the moment because I imagine that COVID has, has put a lot of people out of work. So I think at least you've got some, some company there. Yeah. Are you at home with your parents? No, I, I live on my own. Yeah. I've lived on my own since I was 18. Right. Okay. So you look 18 to me. I, I, I wouldn't no, know. No, I'm I'm 21 now. Okay, so you are you're still a baby. <laughs> are your are your family close by? Yes, yeah, say about like a 20 minute walk. Okay, that's nice. Oh, I wish my family were that close by. So, what do you do with your days if you you don't have to go to the gym and you don't have to go to uh, your, a job? So, what do you find yourself doing most days? So go to see family, see mates, just sort of try and maybe just tidy up a bit or just yeah yeah just try and I can I can see you've got a nice picture um, picture collage behind you. Who's who who are in your pictures? Well, one of them is from a TV show over here. Um, oh yeah, what what's the TV show? Called EastEnders. I yeah, I know that show. Yeah, it's Lacey Turner from it. Okay, cool. So you met her? And No, I, I do want it. And I've got my sister as well. Oh, sweet. What's her name? Uh, her name's Sophie. Mm. Is she, and she's younger than you? Yeah, she's 13. Wow, okay. So do you come from a big family? No, not really. Okay. And who else? Who else is in your picture frames there? Um, my uncle, and I've got the um, also I've got the uh, you know the photo that you signed in the event in twenty eighteen with Dan. Oh my, 
Oh my gosh, it's so long ago, remind I've got, me. I've got <gasps> the photo that you signed. Oh wow. How funny. So we met. Yeah, we have met. I'm going to the March event as well, but because you're not going, sort of like. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, it's such a shame I can't make that one, unfortunately. Um, but I'm sure you'll have lots of fun because who, who's going to be there? It's going to be, I think, uh, Tammy, Tammy McIntosh, Pamela Ray, um, Kate Atkinson. And Jackie. 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 Oh, my gosh. That's, that's a good... That's a good bunch of people. You'll be I just happy can't with wait that. to meet. I just can't wait to meet Tammy. I think yeah. she's got like a, she's got loads of energy, and she? She certainly has a lot of energy, Liam. You're right about that. Yeah, she might scare you a little bit. She scared me the first time I met her. <laughs> <laughs> so, Liam, are you all up to date with Wentworth? Have you been? Have you been yes, watching? I am. Um, I'm. I'm been binge watch. I'm. Um, Binge watching it before the new season starts. Oh yeah, season. okay. So you've watched all of seasons one up through seasons eight. Yeah, I'm on season seven at the moment. Oh, okay. So you don't know what happens in season eight yet? No, I, I have seen it. I'm just sort of watching them again before the rewatching it. Okay, yeah. okay. And so this season that's coming out in august is going to be the last season so what are your do you have any predictions about what's going to happen well there's obviously going to be death because it's just went there, isn't it? exactly exactly it's going to be death. um prefer, i do want vera to kill ferguson definitely ah nice and i think ali's she will find out that it, it, it was Judy that stabbed her. Yep. Definitely. Yep. That's a good prediction and too. Lou Kelly will lose it. She'll lose some more fingers. She'll lose some more fingers. Um, yeah, so you predict that Lou Kelly is going to get really mad? Yeah, maybe Red dies or something. Or, and then oh, she just God. goes on the warpath and... Mm, these are really smart dog. predictions i have to say you've really thought about this yeah no i can't wait so who do you who do you think is going to die of all the characters who do you think is going to die ali i do hope ali don't die definitely don't have hope ali don't die. <laughs> thank you <laughs> and i can see red dying judy sheila um, I hope I hope no one kills Boomer me too definitely not Boomer needs it's to happen sacred. You gotta, you, you've got to leave Boomer alone <laughs> and I want I do want Jake to die as well oh okay yeah and yeah I just it's going to be sort of like chaos, basically. Yeah. Well, there's 10 episodes, so I wonder how many deaths they can fit in. I wonder how many deaths they can fit into 10 episodes. Probably quite a yeah. lot. I am looking forward to it. <laughs> the definite. What's, what's been your favourite season so far? Season... Well, I can't pick one. Definitely, definitely can't pick just one. Okay, um, fair enough. It's got to be either season two or season seven. Oh yeah you know what they're two of my favorite seasons too actually yeah really good choices i think we might be because, on the same one there liam of obviously with season two you've got the escape and i know sort of, that was the best she sort of like escaped she basically took away her freedom by killing the person who killed her daughter so yes and with season seven, just the siege was just phenomenal. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, that was my favourite ever storyline, Be Escaping. I thought that was so genius. And then, yeah, I agree with you. I think that season seven just, um, it took it to a completely different level for Wentworth. I thought I, that was one of definitely. my favourite seasons for sure. Yeah. yeah definitely. 
Yeah, so do I you have, have a... any questions about Wentworth, yeah. about what's happened, about what's coming? Um, do you, right, loads of people have said they didn't think she was, they didn't think she was a good top dog, but they think she was weak. But do you think Ali was a good top dog in your world? Yeah, I do actually. Yeah, I, I do think that Ali was a good top dog. Definitely. I think that she, um, she didn't, I think that she was an unlikely top dog. And I think that she was a, um, like a hesitant top dog. I don't think she wanted that position, but I think that she took it because she knew that the women, the women, the women needed a leader. And so I think that she was kind of a very um, unlikely and unwilling top dog. It's not something that she wanted. Like I think maybe Mari wanted to be top dog or the freak wanted to be top dog. But yeah, no, I think that she, um, she did the best that she could do uh, and, and created quite a lot of peace until, of course, Lou Kelly turns up and then and yeah. then there's a spanner in the works. But that's sort of like the gig of Top Dog, isn't it? You've just got to, you've just got to uh, accept all of the um, chaos that comes at you because it's never smooth sailing. Like I don't think any of the top dogs really have had an easy run um, in in that position. I can't think of a single top dog that Frankie, didn't have some I'm sort say of... Frankie's on the outside, so I'd say she still... She got through it, really, didn't she? She wasn't... She wasn't the... Like the rest of them died or either passed away or... That's right. That's right. Yeah, all the top dogs have have died. Not Mari hasn't died, and Ferguson hasn't died yet. Yeah. We've still got a whole season to go. But yeah, no, I do. I actually think that that um, that Ali did a really good job. Yeah. What do you think? Um, I think she was like she was. She was good, but I think she wasn't as tough. She she showed how tough she was by chopping off Luke Abbey's finger. Yes. But she was she was willing she was willing to go that far to protect the women. But she was also but as the season went on, she got weaker and weaker. So I think she was still trying to step up really. Yes, I think she struggled. She struggled having that power. I don't think she enjoyed having that power the way that maybe someone like Kaz enjoyed yeah. having the power. I think she she tried to be sort of like a like an example of Kaz or B, but she just it just wasn't in her to do that. Yeah, I agree. I would agree with that. Um, what was your favourite scene to film? Oh my gosh. Oh, of all the seasons or of just these last couple seasons? Uh, out of all the seasons. No spoilers. Oh, my God. Oh, there's so many. Um, there's a... Oh, I really enjoyed... Uh, there was a, a sequence in season five where um, Doreen is practicing her speech to the parole board and she's, uh, um, she's enlisted Ali and Liz and Frankie to help her rehearse her um, parole speech. And it's our job to kind of heckle her and, and throw her off and try and, and try and make her speech the best it can be. And I think we all had a lot of fun that day laughing and joking around and and hurling fake abuse at each other and having a bit of a joke i remember that being a really fun day on set yeah what about you what's been your favorite what's been your favorite um scene the, the either the scene in season the end of season six when rita and drago had a fight Oh yeah. Or at the 
say the beginning of season five when Ali sort of like tried to take out Freak with the sock and the Oh yes. Yeah, actually that was the first scene that we filmed back for season five. And I remember it being a really freezing day in Melbourne, but it took all day. Like it was an all day kind of thing to to film. And um yeah, that was a, that was a killer scene. And when the freak just turns into this monster at the end. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good scene. That is a really good scene. Yeah. Were there any other questions that you had? They're good questions. Yeah. Um what was it like to film the stabbing scene at the end of season 8? Oh, yeah, that was that that was really tough actually. Um it was really technical, so we it, we had to film it in about. It was it took hours and hours and hours, but we had to film it in segments because, of course, we had to get all of the fight sequence filmed before I got covered in blood. Because once I got covered in blood, then it's really hard to take that blood off. And I do remember there was one there was one point where I was lying on the floor and I'd been stabbed, and they had this. Um, pillow of blood underneath me and I had to look like I was dead but at the same time I had to kind of press down on this pillow of blood so all of the blood would spill out and that was a real challenge to sort of look like I wasn't moving but actually like put all of my body weight into this um, blood pillow (laughs) and it was so freezing too and the blood so sticky and yeah yeah but it was it was fun to film yeah, also, can I just say, I love you, honey. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, it's a it's a real pleasure of a show to be a part of and it's so nice to be able to get to meet people like you who enjoy the show so much. Yeah, it's sort of, my whole place is like plastered in Wentworth. Oh, great. I'm so it's pleased so you love it. Well, I, I hope that you love the next season, Liam. It's, um, yeah, I think, I th- I think that... Some of your predictions may come true. We'll see. Mm. He's got a little sorry. He's like, yeah, they will. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks, Liam. I hope you have a great rest of your night. And I, I, on top of the family pictures in the background, I really love the Kate picture behind you. I spotted that one. Yep, there we go. Oh my yep, gosh, I didn't there even it is. say that one. Well spotted, Karen. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I, think that, I think that's the most badass Ali has ever looked in her entire life. <laughs> well thanks Liam have a great rest of your night thank you see you Liam Take care. bye And that was Liam and the beautiful Kate Jenkinson there. Thank you so much, Liam, for sharing your experience with all of us. I'm not going to lie, I am a little bit jealous. (laughs) And I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to treat myself to a chat with Kate when it next comes around. But there were some very interesting theories there too, Liam. I liked what Kate said towards the end, that some of your theories might be coming true. Very exciting. Okay, guys, well, thank you all for taking the time to watch this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button stay safe and i'll see you all again very soon